Lumun Jimmy Jimmy Pitokonkota. When I was growing up, truly it was a real Yupik way. We all lived the real Yupik way. We ate all traditional foods, no store bought, no non native foods at all. So we lived truly the real Yupik way. We didn't have any modern conveniences, no electricity, no running water, nothing. We didn't have any of that. We lived very simply. Back then, there were no food stamps, and the only time that we ate was when we were hungry. We didn't have any snacks or anything. Some of the people would get lucky and get more food than other families. And those families who didn't have as much would just wait for the next meal. We didn't covet, we didn't envy. That was just a way of life. Growing up, I never thought, oh, someday I'll have enough food. We just lived with the food that we had, and we ate the food that we had but we didn't have more or less. We just had what was available then. For many of the people, life is easier for them because it's not a matter of survival. Because of government help, a lot of people that could be working or who could go out and find jobs, they don't because of that government help. So it makes them become lazy. And so they just use that source of income to provide for their family instead of going out and subsisting from the land. Life for the young people has just changed so much. For example, when school starts, it's almost like the parents just basically give their kids to the school. And they just let the school teach them instead of the parents and the elders teaching the kids. And that's probably the biggest, biggest change from when I was a young boy. My hope is that we still try to talk to our grandkids and great-grandkids and tell them about how to live. Most of them don't take the advice, some of them do, but my hope is that they would take that advice and then after we're gone, that they would live in the Yupik way and live a good life.